Thank you for buying this tape, an introduction to communicating with a Norfolk accent outside Norfolk. However, as you are from Norfolk, this is probably an illegal copy or was reduced in the January sales. Why do you find yourself outside the county of Norfolk? Perhaps you got lost on the A11, found yourself on the M11 and have been driving ever since as sheer panic took a hold. Or perhaps you have had to leave Norfolk for reasons beyond your control. Either way, this tape will help you cope in situations outside of Norfolk. Scenario 1. You have received an invitation to a wedding in Manchester. Although you dislike the couple immensely, your wife does like them, or at least she says she does, but you sense this is just an excuse for her to go out and buy yet another dress. Anywho, this is besides the point. You're both going and that's that. Unfortunately, you will have to communicate with northern people. There is no way around this. You could pretend to be deaf and mute, but your wife won't let you, as you attempted to do that when you first met her parents. There are several embarrassing scenarios that could occur. Scenario 1. You have found yourself in a northern pub, and you require refreshments. Hello, mate. What can I get you? Hello. Can I have a bear, please? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I'd like a bear, please. A bear? You could try Chester Zoo. They might live there. If not, try a circus. No. <laughs> no, I don't want a bear. I want a bear. Stop. It is impossible for Norfolk people to distinguish between the words beer and bear. Try saying beer and then bear. 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 Stop. This isn't working. Let's try an exercise. Try saying, my grizzly bear is drunk on beer. My grizzly bear is drunk on beer. My grizzly bear is drunk on bear. My grizzly bear is drunk on bear. My grizzly bear is drunk on bear. No, stop. Try one more time. Really, really try this time. My grizzly bear is drunk on bear? Let's move on. Instead of ordering a beer, let's try a Coke. Try saying this. Can I have a Coke, please? Can I have a Coke, please? Stop. Try saying it again and again. Coke. 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 Stop. Let's move on and try another scenario. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I hit a dare. Oh dare. Oh dare. Oh dare. I hit a dare. Try again. Oh dare. Oh dare. Oh dare. I hit a dare. Stop. Let's try a role play. You are staying in another county with friends that are not from Norfolk. Yes, I realise that this is unlikely, but let's stick with it. They have asked you to go to the supermarket and bring back some food. What do you do? I head straight to the reduced section and buy just about everything that has a reduced sticker on it. No! Not even the reduced coke and the reduced bear. They're only dented tins. No! they will not appreciate the savings you are making. You are not in Norfolk now. If you are in Guildford, they could shoot you for doing this. Let's move on to another scenario. As you are driving through the Surrey countryside, you see a very old lawnmower with a sign saying, free to good home. What do you do? I do a handbrake turn, drive up to where that lawnmower is, Wait until my heart stops beating so hard with the shared joy and exhilaration of finding something that's free, even if it's shit, and I put it in the back of my car. No, you are a gardener, and you already own six lawnmowers. But that ain't the point. That lawnmower is free. Stop. Stop. Stop being Norfolk. Okay, okay. I ignore the lawnmower 
and drive on complaining about everything and trying to pick up Radio Norfolk on my car radio. Good. At last. We're making progress. No, no, cause, because I'm trying to get the radio reception for Radio Norfolk, I swerve to avoid hitting a dare, and I get a flat tyre, and I go, oh, dare. Then I ring up my wife and say, dare? Oh, dare, I hit a dare, dare. I need a bear. Good job that weren't a bear I nearly hit. Bearing in mind I'm driving, best I have a cork. Please rewind this tape and try again.